All the drama was not in the water, however. Even as those in the submerged car were doing their best to scramble out of the water to safety, up on top of the bridge, a three-year-old child was sitting dazed and injured in the middle of the interstate. This story could have been even more tragic had it not been for a handful of folks who sprang into action. Local 15's Darwin Singleton has that side of the story. Water. John Mudrich and his son Jordan have made the trip from Stockton to Mobile hundreds of times, but they had no way of knowing that Tuesday night's drive on I-65 would sear a memory into their minds of what happened and what could have happened. I asked Jordan, I said, is that a child sitting in the middle of the interstate? John and Jordan had just run up on a desperate situation, and what they did next would save the life of the youngest survivor of a horrific accident that left one dead and five others hurting. It was just before sunset when those ill-fated travelers approached this spot. It's the entrance to that long stretch of bridge over the Mobile Tensaw River Delta. And everything was fine until they reached mile marker 26. And what would happen next would be a scene of both tragedy and triumph. Jordan was driving, and as he prepared to climb the tallest stretch of the General W.K. Wilson Bridge, he and his father saw something. Well, at first I saw, you know, look like trash or debris in the middle of the road on the left-hand side of the lane. The debris was so bad, John and Jordan, as well as a truck driver and another motorist, pulled over in the emergency lane. And what John saw when he got out of his pickup truck is a sight he will never forget. I seen some movement, and I'm like, I, you know, I focused in on it, and then I, I see this kid sitting in the middle of the interstate. And I, 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 asked, I asked Jordan, I said, is that a child sitting in the middle of the interstate? And he said, I, I believe it is. I mean, we couldn't really, we couldn't believe it. John says the child appeared to be about three or four years old, was alive but stunned. The men immediately began running toward the child, and then, and then, they remembered where they were. Well, I know it. we're in the middle of the interstate, and the next thing I think of is we're fixing to get run over. So we turn around and wave the traffic down and get everybody to stop. And as they did, they noticed another person, motionless in the passing lane. And then, says Jordan, they heard voices. We, we hear people hollering for help. And so we look over the side, and there's the whole family down there. Oh yeah, they were crying for help and saying that there was people stuck in the car, but they were on the bridge, and they didn't know it. And another motorist was already calling 911, yet another wrapping the child in a blanket. Those in the water would be rescued a short time later. And that motionless person on the bridge, she could not be saved. But the child, the little boy who John and Jordan first thought was debris, he's recovering in a local hospital. And as he thinks back on that moment on the interstate, John Mudrich says he can't help but think about his own three-year-old grandson and what happened and what could have happened. By the grace of God, we didn't run over that child. I hate it that they lost somebody, you know, but it, it, it really could have been a lot worse than it was. On the Mobile Tensaw River Delta, Darwin Singleton, Local 15 News. And we have also just learned tonight that the family's pet, a chihuahua, was also rescued from the flipped vehicle. It is now with animal control in Baymanette.